Israel sealed its borders with the West Bank and Gaza, as security is tightened for the Jewish New Year. It means Palestinians won't be able to cross into Israel until Wednesday at the earliest, even if they work or go to school across the border. The only exceptions are humanitarian emergencies. The heightened fear over violence is reflected in a poll, which suggests that two-thirds of Israelis do not ever expect peace with the Palestinians. The roots of that pessimism might partially stem back to the classroom, as Paula Sleer has been discovering. A book entitled How to Be Citizens of Israel might not be everyone's cup of tea. But if you're a high school student in Israel, you don't have a choice. The new civics textbook is compulsory reading, and what it has to say is far from objective. The book calls the settlements Judea and Samaria, the biblical name of the area used by Israeli right-wingers. No mention is made of the words settlements or occupied territories. Many Israeli Jews see these areas as part of the Jewish homeland that provide the state strategic depth and stronger security. Many others support withdrawing from them only when there is a peace agreement. The goal is to show that the whole country belongs to the Jewish people and the settlements are part of the state of Israel. You can even see the borders in the book. No one is even mentioning the people on the other side of this border. There's no mention of the occupation or the different law systems, one for Palestinians and one for Jews. Israel's Arab minority is described as an enemy that's part of the broader Arab society. The Arab minority in Israel is part of the majority of Arabs in the Middle East. Following the War of Independence, they became the country's Arab minority, and this affects their attitude towards the state of Israel as a Jewish state. You are inciting against Arabs. You are undermining their loyalty to the state by depicting them as Palestinians, who are the enemy of the state. Only a very small part of the book refers to secular Jews, despite the fact that 43% of the population is secular. But the book's chief propagandist, Israeli Education Minister Naftali Bennett, insists he is unapologetic about strengthening the Jewish component of the civics curriculum. In a country where terror, war, growing international criticism top the news, the contents of a school textbook for teenagers might not seem like a particularly important issue. But academics and politicians are being drawn into the angry debate in an issue that's fast becoming a headline story. Paul of RT, Tel Aviv.